All right, it is Monday afternoon. Um, we're not presented with this uh, very, very small gecko here. Anyway, what I want you to notice is this guy. I see his old twitches there. That is definitely some calcium tetany. Um, this guy is a very severe metabolic bone disease. Uh, notice how his legs here are kind of bent around and now he's actually real low on his elbows over here as opposed to hanging on his, on his feet. Reason being is when he tries to put weight on his toes, his bones start to bend. And there is a very thin covering over your bones called the periosteum. Whenever you break a bone, it's not actually your bone that feels it, but the periosteum that causes all that pain, which is again a very thin layer of cells. Anyway, so with that in mind, every time, because this guy doesn't have any strength in his bones due to lack of calcium and phosphorus matrix, then the periosteum bends, and the periosteum bends, it causes a lot of pain. So as this guy is trying to move, you'll notice that he puts his foot down, and not only are his legs and stuff twitching from the low calcium in the muscle fasciculations and causing muscle fasciculations, but also because when he puts his foot down and weight on his leg, it actually causes a little bit of pain as well. That's part of what's causing his, uh, his little shakiness. Dude, what's up? Don't touch my butt. Get it away from me. Anyway, but this guy's actually in pretty good spirits. Um, he hasn't eaten pretty recently. It turns out that his skull is quite soft as well. His uh, lower jaw is getting a little bit on the short side. So we're going to turn this guy around. Send guy, mom home with some uh, calcium phosphorus elixir. As, and she's going to go ahead and get the right lights and the right heat. And we're going to start with the right foods. And hopefully after time we'll be able to turn this guy back around. The bad news is now that his legs and his uh, are basically more fibrous cartilage than they are bone in the matrix, we hope that when we need things recalcify that he'll be using them enough to where we'll actually have some decent joints to work around and move around with. Some come back pretty well, some don't come back that well. But time will tell with this guy. Anyway, this is almost two minutes of lizard. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, later.